Okay, Mike, let's see what we got here for you. I I built it out basically how I did it in this video here. I don't know where the original was that I had, so I just rebuilt it for you. And so here is the end result. I put in here recipients shipping information, and I thought that made more sense. Then you got recipient's name, full address, everything there. I thought that followed through like that much better. And then you would have the consumer, the buyer, with their full name and email address up here. And so let me show you how I did this. So again, um, as you saw in the other video, what we do is we create a custom input field down here at the bottom, and then we just inject it into the form right there. So what we got here is we have a, um, so you're going to come in, I'll just show you, do this. So uh, click on the plus, come down and put in a new input element, and that'll pop this in. And I'll show you everything you need to do in here. First off, I think the top margin starts at 30. Bring it down to 15 because I thought 15 lined it up, gave it, gave it the same amount of space here as here. It kind of sets it off a little bit from the rest. Also, you can see the text is a little bit bigger. And again, I kind of like that. I think you can even bold that text. We'll see here in a minute. So, um, so we come in here. We take, come down all the way to the bottom, custom type. And then I just typed in recipient's name and recipient's name. So what will happen is when this is saved, it will be saved into the contact database for the person who purchased the item. So Bob Smith purchases it, and he's selling, sending it to Susie Jones. Um, this will be under Bob Smith. It will be under additional information way down at the bottom, and it will be called recipient's name, and then it will have – you know, Susie Jones or whatever I said next to it. And in this case here, we probably should turn this on to required. And then again, here you can change the font size, but I just left it alone at 16. And then we can come over here to advanced font weight. Let's actually make that bold. So we can make that bold if we want to. Um, you don't have to, of course, and five on the corner. Basically, these are all the presets, except for this one here. Uh, if you leave this to submit on enter, if somebody were to put in that name and then hit the enter key, it will try to submit the form. So you don't want to do that. So we will just leave that turned off. Or actually, it is turned on. You want to turn it off. Okay, so that's it for the input element. And then for the um, order form element, we're going to open that up. And we're going to come up here to the top. And we're going to make sure it says show step one. And then we're just going to come down here to shipping headline. And I typed in recipients shipping information. And I'm pretty sure that's the only change I made on here. And that should have been it. And then the one last thing we have to do is put in a little bit of tracking code. So you'll come over here to settings, down to tracking code, and to footer. And before we get there, let me show you you want to come into the element you just created the new input field come down here to the hashtag and grab out whatever the css id selector is right there for that input field and you'll go to your tracking again and i'll give you the code for this but you're going to put in that css id selector right there so it's just this one simple line of code that says grab a hold of that element Grab a hold of that input field and insert it after the this right here. That is the class name for that text on the screen. So we're saying take this and insert it after this. And if you do all that, I will save this again. And let's reload the page and let's take a look at it. The only change I made is to make this bold. So let's see how that looks. And you're going to see it's going to start off down here on the bottom and then it's going to pop it up here. So I think that looks great. Recipient shipping information and the recipient's name is a little bit bigger, a little bit older. And so I think that's going to follow through for people being able to figure out what to do. So if you have any questions, let me know. And I will, um, like I said, I'll drop that code in along with this video. Okay, Mike, I just reread your, your note over here. And you said that you... Um, we need to add custom fields for the recipient's name and phone number as opposed to the sender's name and email. I mean, the form is possible. Okay, yeah, you can add them, and I'll show you how in a second here. But you don't want to remove the full name and email address because, again, this is for the buyer, and um, you definitely need the email address 
or the form isn't even going to submit. You wouldn't even be able to get to step two if you don't put in an email address. At least I don't think you can. Uh, but it won't save it. I know that for sure. So um, what I did is I just created another one of these exact same fields, same thing, custom type, called this one recipient's phone number, recipient's phone number, and set the margin on this one to zero because there's built-in margin already on this thing, and I'll show you that. Uh, but so we set this one to zero, the top one here. I think we had that set to 15, right? And, yeah, that one was set to 15. Otherwise, all I did is I just duplicated the top field, and then, um, oh, then the uh, tracking code. Let's see here, tracking code. The only difference is we're over here in footer, and the code I give you, you want to put in the footer tracking code. Um, the only thing I added this line here, and I said insert this. So came down here, grabbed the CSS ID selector from this one right there, and then put that in to here. So basically, it's a duplicate of these two lines here. We're saying now, insert the second input field, and we want to insert that after the first one that we just inserted. So this number here and this number here will be the same. So the CSS ID selector and the CSS ID selector will be the same one. And because we're saying insert uh, input field number one after that title, input, um, <laughs> input, <laughs> Insert the input field number two after input field number one. So that's all we say there. So I will grab a hold of this and send it over to you.